Hello everyone, welcome back to the Gaming Flow and in this video we are going to talk about how to fix. The endless dungeon is having crashing issue, it is not launching or won't launch. Freezing, stuttering, lagging, low FPS drop, stuck on loading screen and even many more issues such as black screen and many more issue. And how we can fix this up, so let's dive into the workaround. The first one is all about when you are having this trouble, we have to try with the first one that is all about we have to start with a simple restart. So just go over here in the start icon, go over here in the power icon and go for restart. Once the restart is successfully done, just try launching the game and we have to see whether the issue is solved or not. If that is not working, we have to move to the next one that is all about we have to launch the game from the installation folder. So try launch the game from here, sometimes this might work or it's, it may not work. So we just need to launch the game from here and that is what we have to do. In most cases when you launch the game it will be working fine but in most cases sometimes it won't work. So there are many reasons and we can try with two steps. That is all about we have to navigate to the installation folder. The first one we can navigate to the installation folder using a shortcut from the Steam. Another one we can use the uh, explorer, file explorer. So I'll be showing you both. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties and we have to go to the install it file. Just click on the browse that will take you or redirect you to the installation folder and if you check at the top that is this PC, local disk C, program file x86, steam, steam apps, common, endless dungeon, this is what it is. So right now we need to launch the game from here. So launching the game from the installation folder did work it for many users in my knowledge and in my experience it did work it for me for personally it worked it for me for the many games you can try this out so just launch the game over here and that will be working fine if that is not working we need to uh, run the game as an administrator which i'll be showing you from here itself so hence within the installation folder i can show you this that is all about we have to run the game as an administrator so just go over here right click go to the show more options and we have to go to the properties go to compatibility and make sure as you can see this both things first one you have to check run this program as an administrator and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok and we need to try launch the game if that is not working we need to run the game as a run the game in the compatibility mode so just go over here in the show more options and we have to go to the properties compatibility and click on run this program in the compatibility mode so we have to set this to windows 7 and go for apply and we have to go for ok or you can set this to windows 8 and we have to go for apply and we have to go for ok as well try these things and most probably the issue will be completely fixed in my cases and this is what we have to do next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next step after trying or launching the game from the installation folder and if you are still having the issue we need to move to the next one that is all about we need to make sure the date time and region is correct for this we just need to go over here in the search we need to go over here in the settings now from here go to the time time and language go to the date and time make sure the time and time zone is turned on this is very important we have to turn this on once after just go back go to the language and region now from here what we need to do is we just need to set the language that is you have to set into United States if it is if you are from United States or you have to set this to United Kingdom if you are from United Kingdom you have to set this to any one of the thing. So we just need to go over here in the United Kingdom. So once after you set this up we just need to close everything over here we just need to go back and we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but we need to allow the game not to this we just need to first launch the game and we have to press alt and tab. So this even worked for uh, the issues such as not launching or won't launch. So just click on the play button and you have to press alt and tab from the keyboard and this did work it in my knowledge so just click on this one and if that is not the case we have to move to the next one that we need to delete the saved game file. So just go over here in the file explorer. Now from here we have to navigate to the documents and over here you will be able to find the folder. So if you are not able to find the folder here just navigate to the games and over here you will be able to find the folder. So just delete the folder. Keep in mind once you delete the folder just close everything and we have to go back and try launch the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to allow the game to Windows security. So just go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the control panel. Now from here go to the system and security and we have to go to the windows defender firewall. 
Go for Allo Napur feature through Windows Defender Firewall. Now keep scrolling down and navigate to the game Endless Dungeon. So over here as you can see this is the game Endless Dungeon. And you have to make sure the private and public has to be checked. And this is very important. So imagine the game is not here. If the game is not here we can click on change settings. Go for Allo another app. Go for browse. Go to this PC. Go to local to C. Go to program file x86. Go for Steam over here, go to Steam Apps and we have to go to the common. Now select Endless Dungeon from here, select the game. Now select this one and go for Open and we have to add it. So here I'm getting the error because the game is already added. So if you don't know how to add the game, just do like this, add the game. After the game is successfully added, we just need to close everything over here and once after done with this one, just go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to unplug all the USB devices. So we, we might be connected with a lot of things. For example, you know, multiple monitors might be connected, multiple controllers might be connected, multiple uh, things might be connected. So that is why we are having the issue up. So we just need to remove the unwanted things first. Once you remove the unwanted things, just launch the game and that will be working fine as well. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to perform a clean boot. That is what we have to do. Just go over here in the search and we have to go over here in the uh, system configuration. Go to the services and over here as you can see just go for hide all Microsoft services. Go for disable all, go for apply and go for ok. And once afterwards when you do this app just do like this. Go for disable all, hide all Microsoft services, apply and go for ok. They are going to ask you for restart. So just go for restart. And once you go for restart what happens is. You will be having an, uh, you know, the users who are watching this go for restart, but I'm going to go for exit without restart. Afterwards, try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to uh, do is we just need to perform uh, disable the Steam overlay. So just go over here in the game, right click, go to the properties and over here make sure if it is enabled, we have to disable this. Once afterwards, we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine. Even if you are still facing with the issue, the next one we have to remove, we have to give the commands in the launch option. And the first command is DX11. Try with the command DX11. Try launch the game. If DX11 is not working, try with DX12. And if it's still it's not working, you can try launch the game and that will be working fine. So either the DX11 will be working or we have to try with the DX12. That will be working. Any one of the things will be working fine. And once afterwards, we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to run the game on dedicated graphics card. So just go over here in the search and we have to search for graphics settings. Now from here we just need to keep scrolling down and you have to check whether the game is already added. So we just need to click on the browse. We need to add the game just navigate to the installation folder that is local to C program file x86. Go for steam navigate to steam apps go for common. Now from here we have to navigate to endless dungeon. Now select this one and go for add. So I'm getting the error because the game is already added. So just click over here. Go to the option. By default this will be let windows decide. Change this to high performance and go for save. Once you save this to high performance. Close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. And that will be working fine. Next one is all about nothing but what we need to do is we just need to. Close all the overlay application which is a very important step. So just go over here right click and we have to go to the task manager. Now from here as you can see there are a lot of things running in the background. And as you can see uh, if you know if many things are running in the background for example you know discord, reward tuner, msa afterburner and all those things if they are running over here at the same time if you are trying to launch the game you will be having the issue with the crashing. So just remove the unwanted things from here. That is uh, Discord which comes to the category of overlay application. And also you can remove the overclocking application such as Riva Tuner, MSC Afterburner and all those things. Just remove the unwanted things from here and just close everything and we have to go back and try launching the game. Next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to move to the next one that is all about we have to increase the virtual memory. So just go over here in the search we have to go to view advanced system setting. Go to the advanced over here go to settings once again go to advanced once again go for change. Make sure this is blank and you have to select the local disk where the game is installed. Now go to the custom size set the value initial size that is 1.5 times the total RAM and the maximum size is 3 times the total RAM. 
So just go over here, we need a calculator. So just type your RAM, that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply it with uh, 1.5. That so just multiply with 1.5, that is 14 and 152. And you have to move to the maximum size, that is 32 GB multiplied with 1024 and we have to multiply with 3 that brings you 98 304 and we have to copy this and we have to paste it as well once every value is set you are fine with it we just need to go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine as well next one is all about what we need to do is we just need to uh, what we need to do is we just need to update the windows so just go over here in the search we have to go to settings now from here go to the windows update now just update your windows and once you update the windows we need to go over here and once you update the windows make sure the windows is up to date or else you will be having the trouble so once after updating the windows just close everything and we have to go back try launching the game next one we need to update the graphics card manually so i'll be providing link in the description to both nvidia as well as to the amd the nvidia users has to go to this link you have to select everything like your product type product series product operating system language everything should be selected and if you go for start search you can see this so this is the driver version 544 545.84 that is released on october 17 2023 so just download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're on the amd just go over here and go for submit and if you're on the windows 11 download this one and install restart is a mandatory and if you're on windows 10 we have to download this one install restart is a mandatory and try launch the game if you're also trying to install the Microsoft Visual C++, that will be working fine, even it worked. So if the system is based on x64, download this one. If the system is based on x64, uh, x86, download this one. If the system is based on x64, you can try downloading this one. Install, restart is a mandatory and try launch the game. Last two steps is all about, we have uninstall and reinstall the game. So just go over here, go to manage, uninstall the game. For reinstalling it back, you should not be installing it back on the same local disk from which you uninstall. You have to try a new local disk. Last step is all about we have to try verify integrity of game file. So right click, properties, go to the install it file. Just click on verify integrity of game file. So uh, you know what happens is if you click on the verify integrity of game file, this will cross check every single files of a game. And if any files are corrupted and if any files are missing, and all these kind of issues will be fixed by this and this is what you have to do and once afterwards we just need to try launch the game and that will be working fine and this is what we have to do so these are the possible workarounds which can be done so let me wait this to reach 100 percentage and once afterwards i'll be showing you what you have to do so once it is done just close everything go back and try launch the game and that will be working fine so these are the possible workarounds and I hope this video is helpful and if you find this video helpful don't forget to subscribe and click on the bell icon for more notification. See you soon in the next video. Peace out. Bye bye.